Yeah, I think we we had a really good chance. Um, you know, cricket is played on a day. We've really beaten a lot of top sides in the last couple of years as well too. And I think this side has been building, um, heading in the right direction. So for me, this tour is really important. Um, the last time we came here, um, I think we were pretty much outplayed. But it's pretty much the same guys that we've we've had, you know, for the last couple of years. So a lot of these guys are familiar with the conditions now. I would like to like to make amends for the last time's performance. So more or less, I think we stand a really good chance, but we just need to be disciplined and execute our plans. Yeah, it's really good to see the batsmen spend some time in the middle. I think any batter would always boast of, of time spent in the middle. And regardless of the conditions, you know, the wicket was pretty placid and, and, and quite tr quite good for batting. But um, it's still you still have to go out there and, and do the job and spend the time in the, in the, in the centre. So it was really good to see people like Craig get scores, Darren Bravo get scores, Brooks got a score, um, Jermaine, and ma mainly all of our top six batters got starts. And um, some of them really converted the starts into something really big. So positive signs going into the test match. But again, it's a totally different battlefield, you know, when the game starts tomorrow. But I'm really confident the guys can transcend some of that with some of those performances onto, onto the test match field. Um, it's difficult to say no. Um, I've got to go out and see the wicket. Uh, traditionally here in Hamilton, it's been pretty flat uh, and it's been a hard toil as well for bowlers in, in the recent past. So that is something we obviously have in the back of our minds so, and we know it's going to be difficult sometimes trying to get 20 wickets in these conditions but again cricket is played on a day and more or less if we be disciplined and build enough pressure i think wickets will definitely come um, in terms of the combination i guess we'll have to wait and see some more not worried at all um, our bowlers have really carried the mantle for this team over the last five to ten years and it's just more or less for us to continue on that trend. You know, our bowlers know what is expected of them and they know their roles quite quite well now. Um, a lot of them are very experienced. Kim Arrow, Shannon Gabriel, myself, and even young Azari who's played probably a handful of test matches, I feel has played enough cricket now to understand the flow of test cricket. Um, yeah, I'm not worried at all. I think what I've seen in the, in the warm game particularly is discipline. And I think we need a lot of discipline going into this series, especially knowing that some of these surfaces are batting friendly. Um, so I think we've got to definitely be disciplined and stay patient and try to make the New Zealand batters work very hard for their runs. Yeah, it's good to see our opening bat batsman in Craig, you know, getting some scores. You know, I thought he shaped up really well in England. He got a few half centuries, you know, he got a few starts. And he's, he's starting to look at the Craig Bradford of old. You know, he's obviously been a, a banker for us over the years. Um, again, he's had a lean patch over the last couple of years, but to see him coming back into strides um, the way he has, um, I was remarking to one of our coaches that the innings that I saw in Queenstown, the double hundred, you know, was one of the more fluent innings I've seen from him ever. Um, it kind of reminds me of a test match innings he played in, in Hobart, you know, where he got 97 in the second innings. And, that was one of the most fluent innings I've ever seen from Craig, but this one showed similar signs. For me, his balance looks really good and he's stri striking the ball really well. So let's hope that he could continue in that vein, get us off to some really good starts and carry it very deep. Yeah, we both come together and we've decided that we're going to take a knee um, before, before the, on the first display, sorry, before the first ball is bowled. Um, yeah, we've been supported really strongly by New Zealand cricket uh, and by extension Kane Williamson and his crew. And yeah, I'm really thankful that they've, you know, jumped behind us um, for the movement and, and trying to push more awareness around racism. You know, I think New Zealand is, uh, itself has created a, their own thing around um, racism. So it's good to see that both of these things could probably coincide and uh, we send, send a really strong message. No, it's really important in Test Championships is obviously another trophy-based competition. So, look, we've we've only played, I think, two two series in the Test Championships so far. So we're still behind the pack uh, as it relates to games. But every game is, is more or less for points and we've got to understand, you know, how to gain points. You know, we're playing against top-ranked sides and we've just got to put out a really good effort in, in terms of trying to beat them. Yeah, just stay loyal to us, you know, um, we know sometimes the performances are, aren't the greatest, but more or less I think the die-hard, strong West Indian supporters, you know, would always stick behind us and, and, and rally behind us definitely in this test series, I will, as we'll need the support. Um, the support definitely goes a very long way and we, we cherish every single moment in the cricket field going out there performing for the Moon fans.